Hello dear friend, this is Yule Humphreys. I'm glad to be back and share a word with you today from the Word of God. I'm entitled this message, a 10 minute message I believe God has given to me called that uh, how to understand the things that you can't understand. How to understand the things you cannot understand. We need to see the importance of that because it is important. And uh, and so we need to recognize that the fact that there are times in this life, even when we're trying to serve God and live the Christian life, there are times that happen and come upon us that we do not understand. But let, <clears throat> let me read you a scripture first of all in Proverbs the third chapter verses 5 and 6 that I think are great scriptures in the Bible. <clears throat> Trust in the Lord with all your heart. This is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will direct your path. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He'll direct your path. First of all, I want to say to you, there are times when we're facing problems and trials in life that we cannot understand why it's happening to us. Sometimes they come to us when they are always uh, seemingly out there unannounced and undeserved and we can't understand why they're happening. And we face problems and we face situations and we see things that happen before us and we wonder why. <clears throat> now we need, um, we, I think we need to understand something. That we cannot understand all that we cannot understand. We don't need to. It is not necessary for you to understand the things that are happening to you that you can't understand. Because you see, you live by faith. And faith says, I don't need to figure it out in my mind and understand it myself. But I need to depend on God who will work it out and who holds the key and who knows the answers. And I'm trusting Him instead of me. And that makes the difference. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in Him. That means believe in Him. Rely upon Him. Cast all your care upon Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not just your mind and your thoughts, but your heart, your life. Trust Him. Say, I'm leaving it there with you, Lord. I want to put it on your altar, and I'm, I'm trusting you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Your own understanding will never bring you peace. You will never find peace until you find the Prince of Peace, until you find that you turn it over to God and you don't know the answer. When you don't know the answer, turn it over to God and you'll find the answer, that is peace. And so he says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. Realize that God has brought it about for a purpose and a reason that we do not always know. But we are to accept it and agree that it's going to work out for good because God does not make mistakes and He loves you very much. He loves you so much that He's not going to let you bear any unnecessary burden. That's Bible. The Bible says that He will not allow you to bear unnecessary burdens. But everything you face has a purpose. And all things are working for good to those that love Him. And so believe, when you cannot understand why, believe that it's for your good and go on and praise God and leave it in His hands. Your heart may be broken, but bring the pieces to God and let Him put it together. Your dream may be shattered, but let's bring all the pieces together and go on and know that that dream is coming true in its own time. And so let God... Have his way in your life today. Turn it over to Jesus Christ who loves you, who came down from heaven and died on a bloody cross for your sins and was laid in a cold, dark tomb for your life and to die your death. And he came out the third day to live, and because he lives, we shall live also in him. I'm going to be with you one day in heaven because Jesus went before us. And he says, you follow me. I have prepared for you a place in the Father's house of many mansions. And if I've gone to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. 
that where I am, there you may be also. Do not worry about things that have happened to you and try to figure it all out yourself. Just learn to turn every day over to God and say, Lord, I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know when, but I know this, that you are my God and you're able to help and you said for me to turn it over to you. I'm trusting you. I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. I'm going to acknowledge you, Lord, in every part of my life, all my ways, and you will direct my path. This is the way to understand the things that you can't understand. And it's the best way, for it's God's way. It's a way of peace and a way of power. Oh, praise the Lord. God will help you get through and He'll give you peace. Over in the Bible, in the book of Romans, in the fifth chapter, in verse 1, it says that, Therefore, having been, having been justified, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, being justified, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for that because God has given us life in Christ to walk with Him and talk with Him and live for Him all our days and to know that there is a divine guiding hand upon us and the Lord is here to help us. He's not going to leave us. He's here to bless us and to make us strong to walk by faith to trust in Him. So I want you today to know that Jesus loves you. And He's saying, come unto me. I'm going to give you peace. Being justified means that you've been forgiven. You're saved, Christian. You're justified just as if you hadn't sinned. Because Jesus paid it all. Paid it all. Paid it all for you. And He made it all over again for you. He's given you life. And He's given you peace and power with God and men. And so let Jesus... Have his way in your heart today. God bless you. He loves you and I love you. And I want you to know it. And I want you to find that way of heaven is the way of peace. The way of peace. We may not understand everything, but that's all right. God knows best. God knows what's right. One day we'll understand. Someday down here you'll understand some of it. But up yonder, when we stand in glory with him and God's forever sweet tomorrow, we will understand it all. We'll understand it all. Praise God. By and by, when the morning comes, when the saints of God are gathered home, we will tell the story how we've overcome. We will understand it better by and by. Trials dark on every hand and we cannot understand. How that God is now leading us to that precious promised land. But he'll guide us with his eye and we'll follow till we die. We will understand it better by and by. By and by when the morning comes. When the saints of God are gathered home. We will tell the story how we've overcome. We will understand it better by and by. Oh, my dear friend, we'll meet together over yonder, and I have all our questions answered, and we'll know everything is right, and we'll live with God forever. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and bless this brief message to your heart, and may you know the Lord. Call out upon Him. If you do not know the Lord as your Savior and your God, say the prayer like this. Say, Dear God, Please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. And I praise God. I ask you to come in my heart and help me live for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray that prayer. And then you'll know that you don't have to understand everything you can't understand. But you know that God, who understands everything, is holding you in his hand and he's going to bring you through and you'll know it's right and you'll rejoice in the Lord and you'll have peace e peace amid your problems for you know that the Lord is with you God bless you and help us all Amen